hello everyone so in this video i will be showing how i created a responsive layout along with some gradient properties with css grid so in this video we will be seeing the first part of my page that is the header part uh, which contains the product image name and some filters so uh, for the first part uh, i will be using a class called header inside this i will be placing all the three elements that is the image name and some filters so i have already created a div and inside that i will be creating three divs for them the first one will be for the product image second one will be for the name color and size and the last that is the third one will be for some filters so i will be giving name called product image for the first div and for second i will be giving product info and the third one will be filters for the product image i will be using the image element and uh, i will be providing the source locally i already have a uh, image of uh, a product so i will be uh, locating it over here locally just save it and i am getting my image so we will be uh, doing the css styling afterwards first of all i will align all the elements that is i will add all the elements and after that i will be applying all the styles so for the second uh, div that is the info part i will be having three things over there the first one will be the name the second will be colors and sizes so I have used the h1 tag for the name It is coming down right now we have to place it just to, uh, after the image so I will Uh, use some css properties after for that and we will be doing that using the css grid we doesn't want lines so just to set the lines property of our ion item to none and after that i will be creating another div for my color and sizes and i will give them a name called features product features i have used a ion list element over here and will provide the title of the list using the list header first one will be the colors then for individual all the colors i will be using the chip component
inside chip i have wrote iron label for the name and just copy paste because the syntax for all the chips will be same and for the size feature also the syntax will be the same as of the colors so i will just copy paste my colors components align them in row i have used the row component over here i will replace the colors with sizes and provide some value to my chips as well save it uh, so our product info part is also completed just remove the lines and set them to none after this we will be switching towards our filters part I uh, will use the iron item again and uh, I will be using a label over here and some chips will which will contain some date input I will be creating three filters one will be the ordered after second will be ordered before and third will be for the toggling of the pre order this i have created according to my requirement you can uh, switch to different components or things which uh, you want to create a desired page of your choice i want the chip at the end slot so i will be providing a slot of end to my chip same will be of my ordered uh, before so just uh, copy the whole thing and paste again and replace it with ordered before i want the date input so i have used the input element and used the type date over here the next will be uh, i am using a filter of uh, pre orders for only pre orders so i will be using a toggle button over here first of all i want a label again so my filter part is also completed just set the lines to none again now i will be switching towards my css part and first of all i will be writing some code for my header so i want a grid so i will be using the display grid property first the second thing i will want them in a column so uh, i will be creating it using the grid template column and will provide some
specific width to my columns so first i want uh, 200 pixels the for the product info i want it to be of 1 fr and the filter should be of 375 pixels so as i save them i am getting this result now let's do some styling individual to all the elements next i will be setting the grid gap okay it is done now let's just set some padding So I want 16 pixels from top, 16 pixels from uh, right and left and 48 for the bottom. Now let's just do some styling over the product info part. I will be displaying them as flex and will set some flex direction to column. By default it is of row so I want them to be set as column and will justify its content to space between. All the elements will be having a equal space between them. I will be also giving some margin to my h1 tag now it's looking perfect so in this way I created the header part of the uh, page uh, so in the next video I will be showing the below part the footer buttons and also the more responsive lay layout and how I gave the gradient effect and blur effect to my product image. So stay tuned for the next video and thank you so much for watching this video.